Hey everybody. Um, so today was uh, the day that I did not take my birth control pills. So I took my birth control pills for 10 days. Um, <clears throat> and uh, so today is day 12, I believe. I'm kind of like off the days now. Um, but so when you go off the, the 10 days of birth control, you start to see a little bit um, like you're starting your period. And so I'm having a little bit of that. And that's really all I'm feeling so far. Tomorrow is um, our IVF class, and my husband and I are um, going to be going to that. So it's a two-hour class, and I don't know what they do, but I think they kind of teach you about everything that you're going to be dealing with with the medications and how to um, inject yourself with um, the needles and dealing with which medication where because there's so many. And I again, oh, my hair is like crazy pants. Um, today I was on the phone with the pharmacy people again and my doctor's office because of just all the money and like, it's just a ton of money. And we also did this testing, um, before we started the cycle where it was a blood test and it was to see if we were carriers of specific diseases and the test, um, test recessive genes. So like if I'm a carrier of something and Lauren's a carrier of something, then it's really highly likely that our child would have that disease. And then it's worth testing the embryos to see if the embryos have that disease and then maybe, um, not using that embryo. If it's a disease that is really life-threatening or really hard to live with or quality of life so you'd have to make those decisions but luckily we don't share any carried genes I have one gene that kind of um, stood out and then he had another one um, like mine was for a type of hearing loss but since he's not a carrier there's really 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 no um, reason to worry about our children having those things so that was nice to do. It's kind of comforting to have all of these tests and really interesting. Uh, we had a counselor, a genetic counselor call us tonight and go over that with us. So um, she was very informative and um, yeah, she was really nice, but it was, it was interesting. We just don't really have anything to worry about, so there's not much to it. But I would suggest that, I think even all of the doctors now with IVF like highly suggest that you do it, and it's actually something that they want you to do, but you can refuse if you want to. Because um, it did cost a little money. Um, I think Lauren, well, they, you can decide if you want it to be submitted to insurance, and then it costs more. Or um, you can decide to have it just build directly from them, and then they give you a deal on it. So my husband's was like $500, and then um, I think mine was 1200 but it's going towards my deductible. I don't know. It's crazy. Everything is going towards my deductible right now, but it's only a $2,600 deductible. So anyways... We'll see. But that's uh, the update for now. Uh, tomorrow we have our class, and I'll fill you in then. All right. Good night, guys.